Hi, so I hope you're okay. Now, I see you wanted to do this rotunda roof, yeah? With this strange name, which I forgot what it's called now. What is it called again? Uh, a, re a reciprocal roof. Okay, mate? Right. Um, there we go. What I've done, just to show you, I've done this quick, quickly so you can see. We've got your polygon there, which has got the 12 sides, yeah? Let's just get rid of uh, rice. Uh, polygon, which has got 12 sides. There's another polygon above that which I've raised up. I don't know, it's not been raised up that high. You can see it's not too rocky science. So, yeah, and that's also got 12 sides, okay? I'll, I'll put that triangle in there just to show you that they are lined up. Can you see how they're lined up there when you look down on it? It's lined up there, okay? But I've, done it. I've drawn a line from there and I've gone a long one and this line goes straight the way across there into that intersection point there. Can you see that? Let me just draw it around there for you. Not too complicated that is it, right? That's a reasonable distance past there. I've also drawn a line from there to there. That's that will come that'll, I'll show you what that's for a bit a bit later, right? Okay, so there we've got it there. So now and on the end here, now this has got to be perpendicular, okay? It must be perpendicular off this line here, that face. Can you see? That's 90 degrees off all of that. I've actually got a special tool that does that. Let me just, I'll give you an example, I'll show you, look. Right, this is a tool off Chris Fulmer. It's a plug-in, and you just pop it on there, and it puts a, you see it puts a, a perpendicular face on there straight away. And I've just got that face and moved it down. That's all I've done there. Okay, so I'll just go back on that and delete that, right. Okay, so there we go. So that's our first, that's what we've got. So I'll now show you how, how to do it, right. Uh, this is our component, so if we go into the entity mode of the component, okay, and then I'm going to get the uh, a push pull tool and I'm going to pull it down like so, okay, until it's on that point there. You know, let me just get that there, right? Can you see that? That's our block now. And there we go. So this here now, actually, you know that line I drew, I drew earlier? I actually really should have, um, to be honest, I should have drawn that here because I'll, I'll be able to see it better. Right, there we go, right. Okay, then I'm going to get the push pull tool again, right, and I'm going to pull this down until it's roughly, it's roughly there. It's roughly just touching in the middle there, okay? We can do it there, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. It's just to give it the, the right part so they overlap, okay? All right? Okay, so that's that beam there, and so there we go. So I'll just, I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and we're going to come out. I'm now going to editing mode. I'm just going to get rid of some old, some of this stuff now because it's, it's in the way, really. Okay, and I don't need. Oh yeah, I'll keep that for a minute because I'll need that for the. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We don't need that either. Okay, and we don't need that either. Okay. Now then, now we've got, because that's give us our angle, right? I'm then going to click that, click on the V, which is blue. I'm then going to get the rotate tool. I'm going to pop it on the bottom there. Okay, there. There's the rotor, and I'm going to pick it up here. I'm going to left click on that. Then I'm going to hold down control, which puts the plus sign on it, as you can see there, look. And that drags me copy out. I'm going to go to the next point on the polygon, which is there. Then before I press anything else, I'm only going to press 12 and then times or X. I think it's control on but no, it isn't. No, ignore me. I'm going to press 12 times X, enter. And that gives us the 12 things that we want, yeah? And I sort of think that's what you're sort of looking for, isn't it? Is that, is that, is that the idea? So, uh, I hope it is. <laughs> And uh, we might as well, should we give them a bit of colour? Hang on, let's uh, go into the editing mode. There we go. Why not? Okay. So, uh, if that's uh, what, what you want, or if I've not got, got, got that quite right, uh, I'm sorry, okay? But if you, you can get back to me. Obviously, I'm, I assume from that you can, uh, you know, you can sort of build the... Um, you know, the rest of the building from there, can't you? Yeah. Okay. So there you go then. Obviously, if you, wanted to, if you wanted to trim the top off the components, I'm not sure what you'd exactly 
trying to do if you go into the editing the editing mode of that component and then you can just I don't know draw a line into the cut like, like that can't you and then push it across and it just trims all the tops off because it's a component okay mate I hope that sorts it out and I hope that helps you out and get back to if there's any problems okay mate thanks a lot